Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Pristar portable label printer. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this has a lot of cool features on it. It has automatic label cutting, it has four line printing, it can print 50 independent labels in one go, you can power it with a power adapter, lithium battery, or AAA batteries, it has a backlit display, it's compatible with Brother P-Touch label, so that'll work with like heat shrink tubing, ribbon, there's lots of different labels you can get for this. So let's get this open and take a look. So here we have the manual. Here's the label printer. We have the power adapter. So this is 9 volts at 1.5 amps. And here we have the tape cassette. So let's get this loaded. Looks like we can pull the back off here. Okay, so this comes with a lithium battery. It's 1350 milliamp hours. And we have a piece of plastic here to activate it. So that's really nice. Otherwise, you can put six AAA batteries in. So I like that this has the lithium option, or you can just plug it in. So this will probably be empty because I'm pretty good at keeping things charged up. Now, if this thing did run flat and you had AAA batteries, you could use those instead. So I guess I'll plug this in and get it charging, and we'll take a look at the owner's manual. So to put this on, it hinges off the bottom here. and then snaps in at the top. We'll have to open that back up here to put the cartridge in. So that's charging. We have a warranty card. Here's the manual. So here are the keyboard functions. Has an on off button, format for changing a line, space, density, cut and length. Has enter, navigation, print. So it has different options there. It says pages, sequence number, mirror image labels, current label only or all labels. Has preview current label, you can change the font. Has frames, has file, it says select, save or delete a label edited. Mode, select label form, wrap, flag, faceplate, table. You can edit barcode together with shift key. Has delete. If you do shift delete, you can delete all the characters. Has cancel. You can rotate the printing, start new label file, shift button has caps key, full width or half width has symbols, numbers, characters, letters, symbols, long press to copy paste. So here's the display. So these numbers are down here. I'll just read them. This is the line number, has four lines. This is your content area. This is your cursor, your line wrap mark, this is your number of labels. Six through 11 are your format display. You have language, font, frame, horizontal alignment, font size, length of text, including margins. And then we have the options marks. This is the font barcode symbol symbol, format cursor, and move options. So it has setting up the printer. It can work with six, nine, and 12 millimeter tapes. So you open up, you press the cartridge in, here you connect the power. To turn it on, you hold down the power button for 0.03 seconds. And to turn it off, you hold it down for one second. It'll turn off after five minutes if you are not using it. This talks about editing the type. It has number input, has copy paste. So you put the cursor at the beginning or end of the text. You hold down the C button, and then you press the cursor keys to select it. You press enter, move the cursor to where you want it, and then press the V, or long press V, paste it. And then you can delete text. And here's different editing things here. It has numbering, it has serializing mode to make serial numbers, mirror image. Here's how to manage files, multiple labels, printing your labels. So let's check this out. I'll open the cartridge up. It says remove before use, so I'll remove this. So I'll stick this in like so, and I'll line the tape up with the exit here. There we go. Okay, that's all done. I'll unplug it, it should be charged up enough. Hold this down. It does have that backlight, I really like that. So let's just make a label here, we'll call it test, and I'll hit print. We do multi-labels, start, stop, copies, cutting auto, mirror no, density. Okay, let's just hit print again. So it's printing it and it cut it. Oh, that was just cutting the lead there. Okay, so there's our label. So if we want to apply that to something, the back side is split. So it makes it easy to peel. So let's back out of here. I'll hit cancel. I'll hit clear. So let's take a look at the fonts. We have different font modes. It gives you a little preview of them. So it looks like we have five different fonts, three sizes, and we have three widths. We have three kerning modes, and we have three or four styles. That's very nice. Or let's uh, back out of here. We'll go to frame. So we have a couple different modes here. Wow, lots of options there. 
Go to File. Here we can load, print, save, or delete files. We have Mode. We have Winding Label, F-Type Label, Panel Label, Table Label, Custom Table. So let's try a multi-line label. Okay, I hit enter after that last row, but that was the last row. So let's just try printing this as is. Okay, so it automatically shrunk that down to fit all four rows on there. So it makes it super easy to use. So this also has symbols down here at the bottom. I'll press that. So we have some kind of math symbols. I'll press symbols again. And here we have mark. I go to the left. So on the left, we can choose the types we want. So these are more like icons, brackets, number, math, tagging, tagging, arrow, emojis, digit, star sign, animal, movie, scenery, pattern, work, food, item, portrait, image, office, unit, map, family, shop, travel, traffic, educate, gift, message, video, gesture, sports, weather, telephone, electric, law, media, toy, build, music, logistic, car, ecology, wedding, card, PC, cooking, bank, washing, cloud, military, web, SEO, Greek, and we're back to the start. Tons of symbols on here. That's uh, pretty impressive. So to turn this off, we'll hold down the on off button. It says preparing for shutdown and it's shut down. So I'm going to go find some place I need labels and we'll make and apply some labels using this. Okay, so the first label we're going to do is a winding label. So that might go around something like a network wire. Now I just got a little sample here of network cable to demonstrate this on. So we want to press mode and go to winding label. Now the diameter of this ethernet is around five millimeters. So we will change that. We'll hit enter. We'll type the text. So let's say PC 23. We'll hit print, print. So here's the label it printed. So to apply this, you want to take the end with the space and put that on the cable first. Then we'll wrap this around like so. Now you can identify this cable from any angle. So this is a great way to label wires going into a network switch. So that's not the only way. Let's back out of here. Let's hit mode again. We'll go to F type label. That's the flag label. We'll hit enter. We'll do our diameter at five millimeter. Hit enter. Let's just do the same thing. So this is a larger label. So this probably would not look as good if you had a switch with a bunch of wires plugged into it, but maybe you have a podium with some multimedia cables like an HDMI cable there, and you might have one of these that says projector. And it's a nice big label, so it can be easily read. This one's gonna be a little harder to apply. We're gonna take that perforated area. We're gonna line that up with the middle of the cable. We'll wrap it around and we will attach it to itself. So here we have a flag and it actually did a pretty good job. This is my first time doing this one, but I lined up the edges really good. Now, if you didn't get a good overlap on it, you could trim that so you don't have a little sticky hanging out. So those are two ways you can label a wire using this label maker. Okay, so here I have a bin with some Nintendo accessories. I have cables and such in it. So let's throw a symbol on here. So I'll press the symbol button. I'll press it twice. Then I'll scroll through here. There are numerous options in here. Let's go to, I think PC might've had something. Here's like a little cable icon. I'll hit enter here that inserted the symbol. Now to get out of here, I just hit cancel. And then we'll go back here and we'll type Nintendo. Maybe let's do a different font. Okay, so here's preview of it. Looks nice, I'll hit print. So here we have a very nice looking label. So I'll pull this off, I'll go to the end of the box and I can apply this. So now at a glance, it's super easy to tell what's in this container. So I'll clear this out. If I want to clear everything, I can hold shift clear. So I'll say delete current label. So here I have an old external hard drive. It actually has gone bad, but I can use it for my example. So maybe we want to create an asset tag. So we'll hit shift mode 
to go into the code and we have all sorts of different barcodes now i'm not an expert on barcodes a qr code is very common so that would be an option we can also do code 39 i'm not sure what that one is but let's try it anyway so i'll just do one two three four five six seven eight nine zero enter and there we have the code now i think you can only do one code per label that's correct, yes. So now we have our barcode, we'll hit preview and we can see the barcode here. Let's print this. And here we've created a little asset tag with a barcode on it. So that's a very professional looking label. So let's do one more. Say we're having a birthday party and we want to label something. Let's add a symbol in here. So let's go to like an animal or something. So we've entered an animal, let's type a name. Let's hit frame. So here we have different decorative frames. And there we have a label. So this could also be used for like a cubby or a locker or something like that. So that's the Pristar Portable Label Printer. This thing's loaded with functionality, has all the symbols, all the modes on it. I didn't get into everything, like it has the sequential printing, QR codes, things like that. So this has tons of functionality, but also has lots of features on it, like the backlight, the automatic cutting, the rechargeable battery. So those things wouldn't absolutely be necessary, but it makes it much easier to use. Back 20 some years ago, I had to print labels off for some backup hard drives and I had to print multiple labels. And it was a very slow process because I had to print them one at a time so I could cut them so they'd be the specified length. With this, you could completely automate it with this. If I had this back then, it would have saved me so much time. So a label maker like this would be good for home use. You could just label products around the house, cupboards, things like that. It's great in a shop. So if you have parts bins and stuff, but this could also be used professionally for parts, networking, electric. It's always nice to have good labels on things like networking. So the next person who comes in to work on it can easily tell what's what and that's really nice if you're the next person to go work on it so proper labeling can save a ton of time so that's all i'm going to cover in this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you like this video please click like if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate if you could do that and thanks for watching until next time goodbye